want to say a quick word of thanks today to Dawn Butler, MP. Now, Dawn Butler is an MP, obviously. She is a Labour MP, which is probably just as obvious. And she is trending on Twitter today because she said on national television that children are born without uh, sex. When, when a child is born, they are identified and observed in a particular well, sex, aren't they? A child is born they? without sex, and the child is formed without sex yeah. in the beginning, but I, any, I don't, anyway. I don't... Yes, she actually said that on national television. Now, keep in mind, she's not only an MP, but she's a senior Labour MP. She's a Labour front bencher. And if Labour were in government, she would probably be a minister. And yet she's on TV saying, and I quote, babies are born without a sex. She was talking about the trans madness and the Labour Party's absolute commitment to all things peak trans no matter how much it damages other people no matter how absurd or unreasonable it may be labor is committed to trans 110 percent they're alienating vast swathes of their core vote by doing this but they're so disconnected and so bubbleified and so arrogant that they can't see this now i'm not thanking don butler for revealing the complete commitment to the trans madness of the Labour Party. She's not the one to do that, or at least she's not the only one to do that. Labour's in the middle of a leadership election at the moment, and all of them, all of the candidates, are just as committed as each other to the trans madness. Rebecca Long-Bailey last week said that she would alter the law if she were Prime Minister to recognise self-identification. And that means, as we all know, that a person merely means to, needs to say... I am a man, I am a woman, and then they are. It's like magic. So Rebecca Long-Bailey committed to that. Keir Starmer, trans women are women. But Lisa Nandy, that salt of the earth, uh, uh, northern lass who's going to bring some sanity to the Labour, uh, to Labour and to the Labour leadership election, she was questioned a few days ago. I'll link to all of these below. She was questioned a few days ago and she was asked specifically... Should a convicted rapist be housed in a woman's prison? Her response was unequivocal, yes, they should. Because trans women are women, you see. I believe fundamentally in people's right to self-ID. And I believe that the Gender Recognition Act strikes the wrong balance in relation to that. So I think that crimes that are recorded should be recorded as that person wishes, having gone through that process, received support um, and self-identified. Um, you asked about whether people, trans people should be in women's or men's prisons. Well, I think trans women are women and I think trans men are men. So I think that they should be in the prison of their choosing. So we know, we know. She, it's not, I'm not thanking Don Butler for revealing this because it's revealed all the time. What I am thanking her for is she's done something really very important here. She's not re just revealed the trans madness in Labour and how committed they are, but she's revealed how thoughtless they are. Have, has she thought about this? Has Don Butler actually sat down and thought to herself, the consequences, the repercussions for simply being able to say we are the opposite sex and becoming that opposite sex? Has she thought about the notion that children are born without sex? Has she given this any time? Has she, has she discussed it? Has she learned about it? Has she studied it? She has done nothing of the kind. She is repeating slogans that get applause from the uber left of the Labour Party. That's all she's done. These are all mantras. This is uh, 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 virtue signalling on a grand scale. And Lisa Nandy, exactly the same. This She hasn't thought through men identifying as well. What she is saying is that any convicted rapist can identify as a woman, go into a women's prison and rape the women in there. She has thought nothing at all about the repercussions of this. This is simply repeating lines. They don't think, they don't care, they don't consider. They, they, we are dealing with, I don't even, politico bots is a word I use, for people who hear something that gets applause and repeat it because they want those same applause. No thought is going into this at 
all. There's no consideration for who might be harmed by these decisions at all. These people are not fit to represent this great country. We must know that by now. And Richard Madeley, who was talking to Dawn Butler, said to her, but why is Labour shutting down debate on this? Because uh, we've been out, we've had calls to expel transphobes from the party as well. That was Rebecca Long Bailey too. And she was asked, why is Labour shutting down debate on this? And she insisted, we're not shutting down debate on this, but debate can't be transphobic. So if you don't believe that trans women are women or trans men are men, that's transphobic. So you're free to have a debate, of course you are, as long as the starting point is trans women are women and trans men are men. It's a little bit like Islam, isn't it? You're allowed to debate Islam, of course you are. Islam is a part, is, is, is a religion of open debate. As long as you, the starting point is that it's a religion of peace, Muhammad never did anything wrong, as long as you start there, you can debate all you like freedom isn't it wonderful we are in a i don't know what to call it uh my the thing i keep calling it is a science fiction film i genuinely cannot believe we are in a situation where all of the candidates for leader of the labor party are insisting that trans women are women and if you don't agree you are a transphobe full of hate but even more science fiction than that is a senior Labour member of parliament on television declaring that children are born without a uh, sex. <sighs> that has to be enough. It has to be enough. Labour are not going to turn away from this. They are not going to become that uh, party of the working people again. They are too far down the rabbit hole and people are gradually but certainly realising this. The reduction in Labour's vote across the country symbolises that and they still don't get it. They have no idea why they are becoming so unpopular and that's the reason they are never coming back. If you want a sane political party that observes and recognises reality and truth and does not shut down or exclude or expel people for expressing an opinion, then join for Britain. We are coming for Labour. My ambition, I'm very ambitious, but my ambition is nothing less than to bring down the Labour Party and it can be done. It's like a gift they're giving us at the moment. If you are a Labour voter and you want sanity, to, you, you want sanity in politics, you want to not listen to your political leaders and think, what? What are they talking about? Then move away from the Labour Party. It's got to be done and it's got to be now. This is the end of the Labour Party. This was once a party for the working folk of this country. Now it will exclude you over gender identities. Insanity. This is it. This is the end. Move away from them. Get on board with For Britain. The only party really, really committed to truth reality, sanity, and getting back to basics. People in the pub across this country on a Friday night do not care about transgenderism. They care about the fact that their kids are not safe anymore. They care about the fact that they are taxed and up to debt to the two eyes. This is what they care about. And until a Labour readdresses those issues, and it won't, it's over. Get Get real. Let's get real. It's over for Labour. It's time to move on. And I'm asking the Labour heartlands to reconsider. Look elsewhere. We will be in your area this coming May, standing in local elections. Learn about us. Get on board. Better yet, stand for us and win a seat. Labour's done. That's it. It's over. But as long as you're having a debate without being transphobic, then you can have a discussion and a debate. Mm. Trans women are women.